Okay. Yeah, I mean, 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 out there with the so-called UFOs and that, and, and we know from the scriptures that this is um this is the chariots of the Lord, man. Okay, we know that these are the vehicles, the spiritual vehicles that the Lord is going to come back in. And, you know the, the vehicles that the Most High deals with, man. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the scripture, and then I'll hand it over to the brother because this is it's his article, and I'll let him uh, get into it and uh, you know right. coordinate. Okay. So, um, if you bear with me just a minute, um, it's the book of Revelations, I'm trying to find the exact verse. Two and seven? It, two and seven, so I'm looking in the first chapter. <laughs> I'm going off. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, two and seven? Yeah, yeah, um, coming with clouds. No, no, one and seven. You're thinking one. I was in the right place, but oh, can't, can't, yeah, can't. yeah, yeah, I was in the right place. Uh, but yeah, you, you know, yeah, hey, that's why brother was gonna, you know, <laughs> you go <laughs> not lean on your own understanding, you know. Uh, it's the book of Revelation, <laughs> seven, seven, uh, so the seventh chapter, the first verse. Brother, more the first chapter on the seventh verse, it says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him." And I'm gonna get that account within the book of the Apocrypha. Once the brother has read the um the article, okay, and pretty much what you're gonna have is a situation where the Lord's gonna come with the chariots, the chariots of um of fire, all right? That's right. Because hey, the scripture talks about you know a curse that goes forth out of the out, out, out into the world, that being them chariots and you know blasting and and and, and fire and destruction was gonna come by way of those chariots, man. So it's gonna be a beautiful thing when the Most High manifests all of these things before us because it was written in a full time. It was gonna manifest itself in the future, you know, even more in that there for even, you know, growing our force, exp uh, grow, growing our, our, our faith exponentially, man. Okay, mm -hmm. so the scripture says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, proving reincarnation, and all kindreds and tongue, uh, shall wail. Why are they gonna wail? Because hey, this beautiful kingdom that they call uh, 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 the so-called beautiful kingdom they call you know England, America, and so on and so forth, it's gonna be destroyed, man. Okay, okay. the Lord's gonna do away with it, really. like like the scripture says within the book of Amos, the ninth chapter and eight verses. Eyes, behold, eyes, Lord, power upon the sinful kingdom is gonna destroy. It. Well, hey, that's why the scripture says here, all kingdoms and and of the earth shall shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Okay, so I'm gonna hand it over to the brother. You know, um, you know, he's gonna get into the article, and um, go on, go on. you know, yeah, man. I just came across the article, and you know, a few days back, I've just, I've just been saving it, man, because hey, when you watch the video that they posted on the uh, Telegraph or Call the UK, the title is "Mysterious Green Light Fireball Spotted in Japan Sky." It's an amazing video, man. It's like a green orb just basically going throughout the sky. And this is not, it's, it's not no hoax, man. You can tell it's spiritual, mm. which is a beautiful thing, man. Because, you know, there's been an increase of these signs happening all over the world. But, you know, predominantly, you know, in, um, you know, the Latin countries and Babylon and, um, you know, Russia, man, which is funny because that's where, you know, a lot of the destruction is going to happen. So, hey, man, the Lord is basically sending his signs, man. You know, letting you know that his arrival is, is, is nigh, man. So I'm going to just get into the article. It says, um, a mysterious green light recorded traveling at speed over Japan has attracted the attention of curious UFO watchers. It says the green object was captured by a um, Nippon TV affiliate weather camera in eastern Japan and released by NHK D sightings on Halloween night. To have the little green men from outer space being captured on camera, astronomers believe they might have a more normal explanation for the emerald green orb. Now, obviously, they're trying to downplay, you know, the spirituality of the actual sign, man. They're trying to, you know, put in lingo of, you know, little green men, yeah. and, you know, trying to make it into a joke. But really, they know their destruction is nigh, man. That's why they're always trying to play down these spiritual signs and these UFOs, man, because like the brother quoted, like, this is the curse that going through the earth, man. That lets you know that Yahweh Shemiel Shai's return is imminent. 
So that's why they're trying to downplay it and make people not really pay attention to the serious of that seriousness of the actual situation, man. If I could, we, if I could say this, bro, all all of the all the different cultures you got out there in the world, um, if you go back two hundred years, three hundred years, or whatever, God. they've all got documents, pictures, and artwork of chariots. And God. it's funny, is because now you got the camera and so on and so forth, you can take photos and all of that. And you're finding out that all of them pictures that they drew was accurate, man. The shapes, yep, yep. okay, those were accurate. So it can't be no coincidence. It can't be no. It's not coincidence that the the, the same uh, 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 fires, you know, balls within balls, you know, fireballs within fireballs spinning on each, yep. on themselves uh, was seen in history, and now they're being seen now. But the only difference now is you can watch it back on YouTube. And here it is because you can watch it back on YouTube. People don't even believe it even more. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> here it is. Here it is. You go back, you know, 200 years, 300 years. Someone will draw a picture and say, this is what, what he saw. And you'll believe it. Okay. And now you can record the thing and people will be, will disbelieve it, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. But that goes to show you the faith of these people, man. And that's why that's the scripture right. says when the Lord comes back, is he going to, is he going to find faith within the earth? Because right. all of the stuff is there, man. The proof. Hey, you're talking about prophecies coming to pass. Well, if, if around the time of the Babylonians, if when the Babylonians were being taken down, okay, let's say you leave, lived in, you was a Jake living um, amidst the Egyptians, okay, which mm. was, a, a, you know, of course that was a possibility because Egypt was a was a it was a strong power stance then, um, and the scripture talks about how one to them that trust in Egypt. So you had Jakes going down into there. So when Babylon was being destroyed, how did they hear about it? People they heard by word of mouth, pictures and drawings and so on and so forth. And they would have had and they would have seen that, that that was the truth. But here it is, the Most High is having it to where information about the modern day Babylon is being manifested, but the difference is now it's not it's not it's not it's not hearsay. Okay. Yeah. It's the, the, you know, the, the information of tra traveling thousands and thousands of miles to the location that well, it is, all right, but it's not traveling by letter, by pictures, by words. You're seeing the videos out there, okay? Good. All right, you're seeing the information in this raw form as if you was there yourself. And people Good. still don't believe, man. But that's why the scripture says this cause they're willingly ignorant. Can't, 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 can't. They're willingly ignorant. But so lucky, bro, you got it back. That's all right, man. Hey, and another thing, man, like, 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 like the brother said, these chariots are nothing new, man. And like the same chariots that, you know, took up the Harashai, these are the same chariots that took up Elijah. These are the same chariots that led us through the um, the Red Sea during the time of, you know, of uh, Moses, man. So, hey, it's nothing new. They've been here since day one, man. This technology has been here since day one. To East, because he's only just trying to get on that level of airplanes and stuff like that, man. But really, you can't touch the technology of Yahweh Shem Shai, man. Because these have been around for thousands of years, right? I'll just get back to the article. It says, um, I got, an astronomer I got... told... A uh, quick question for you, if you don't mind, bro. It says, uh, Acts 1 and 11, it says, Which said, Ye men of Galilee, why ye stand ye up gazing into the heavens? This same mm. house, I, which is taken up from among you, shall come in like manner as ye have yep. seen him go into the heavens. Okay. Can't, can't. That's <laughs> right, man. That's right. Beautiful, man. It says, um, A fireball is another term for a very bright meteor, generally brighter than magnitude 4 which is about the same magnitude of the planet Venus in the morning or evening sky, explains the American Media Society. Um, a bolide is a spectacle type of fireball which explodes in a bright uh, terminal flash at its end, often with visible fragmentation. And the astronomer also suggested that the green light could have been space debris um, re-entering the atmosphere. However, no evidence has been found on the ground of the, of the BBC reports. So they're trying to like just basically say some you know some space trash man that just came through the atmosphere. Like they're trying to downplay it and play off like it's actually nothing. They're trying to defuse the situation too much. But really those days are over, man. Like everyone has yeah. that feeling. Everyone knows we're in the time at the end. So there's no way they can keep coming with these excuses and the people are actually gonna keep believing it, man. You know, especially the elect, man. Because we know what, what these signs are. These are the signs of heaven that Yahweh Hashem Shai has put there for us to know that his, his, his return is imminent, man. Can't, so can't. these who can't fool us, man. You know? Can't, if I could say um, this. Um, can't. 
you know, you know, we're not outright saying, you know, this is a chariot or, or, or whatever, whatever. You know, the fact of the matter is, you know, is you will never know. You wasn't, you know, you know, we didn't, you know, we didn't see it for for Ben or whatever, whatever. But the point, fact of the matter is, okay, okay, let's say, you know, just playing devil's advocate for this, for this, uh, for the purposes of this example. Let's say it wasn't a mm -hmm. chariot. Well, the likelihood is the next time you have an event like this. It's gonna be it because you know why? Because we're in that time, like like it's spoken about within the book of Second Ezra, the eighth chapter and the fiftieth verse, when the scripture talks about great miseries, man. Now, how was you yep. gonna know about the great miseries? Because the Most High is gonna send us those celestial bodies into the sky, so you can see this, you know, blood, blood red moons, man, super moons, okay, celestial bodies manifesting themselves, chariots, UFOs, all of that. Those are all signs that the Lord was beginning to re return back, man. Okay, right. and as long as it, 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 and, I'll, and I'll go as far as saying this, man, as long as it wasn't no one of uh, Esau's uh, instruments, well, guess what? That was a sign from the heavens. Right. If it was a meteor, guess what? It was a sign from the heavens yeah, because yeah. that's how the people of old dealt. Okay, they knew how to read the stars, and they knew if, if, if certain events were happening in in, in 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 the ambient. Okay, if they were seeing something, things that were abnormal, with which that's an abnormal activity, that's why you got it as a recorded uh, a, 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 a telegraph, if you will, okay, uh, on this on this news um, uh, um, outlet. That's why they did a, a special on it, because why? Because it was abnormal, man. Okay, mm. the people of the ancient world, because they were on a higher spiritual plane, they would have realized, look, we're holding a minute. That's abnormal right there. You can't be, can't be dealing how I was dealing yesterday. I got to get into the spirit. <laughs> That's right. Go on, bro. Yeah, I got a quick precept, man. Uh, Go Jeremiah on. chapter ten and verse two. It says, First save the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them, man. So you know, us being a part of this truth, man, like you know, hopeful Lord uh, the Lord's men, we're not dis dismayed at these signs, man. Like sometimes we see them, yeah, we get amazed, man, we get excited. Because why? Because we're actually looking at it like our salvation is near, man. It's just one of those signs that that time is nearer and nearer, man. So that's why we get really excited. But the heathen, it's not a good time for them, man. So when they see these signs, they start making up excuses and start trying to come up with scientific, you know, explanations as to why it's there and where it's come from, man. But for us, this is good news when you see these signs in heaven, man, because it means the Lord is coming, you know, to deliver his men, his, his chosen men, the elect, man. Right? Um... If I can get another uh, scripture, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 2. And it says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they looked for, man. So that's, that's going to be the strangeness of our salvation also in this truth, man. When you're going to be seeing the men of the Lord, you know, being raised up that he's been seen preaching week in and week out on the highways and the byways, talking of this coming, Hashemi uh, al Finally, you're going to see what we've been talking about all this time, man. When you see the Lord's power come down in the form of these UFOs, man, coming to deliver his men. More destruction is going on. I mean, you're going to be seeing, you know, so-called niggas, right, just being raised up and, and being transformed, man. Hey, just just having having the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua bestowed upon them, man. It's going to be a beautiful time, man. And that's going to be strange to these heathens. They're going to be looking at that and thinking, why am I getting beamed up? You know, why am I still down here? I'm the white man. Why am I still down here? This hey, that's why the scripture says they they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirits, right. I'll say, within themselves. Is this he right. whom we had sometimes in derision? <laughs> a proverb <laughs> approach. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. In other words, this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what these dudes are going to be saying, man. Okay, right. they're gonna be saying, "Is this? We talking about this nigga?" All right. So, um, is that all you had on on that article, bro? Because I, I was gonna get this uh, uh last precept. Yeah, can't. It doesn't really go deeper than that. Arc. Can't, um, can't. That's about it on the article. Can't. So I got uh the book of Second Ezra, the fifteenth, the thirteenth chapter, rather more, in the first verse, and says, "And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea." that it moved all the waves thereof, and I beheld. And lo, that man, strong, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heavens, okay? And um, 
as you was reading your article, bro, I was putting up uh, images of a, okay. um, a UFO mass abductions, man. Okay. Right. And, and and pretty much, you know, you see, you see, you know, hey, you basically see the scene in Second Ezra the 13th chapter because the image I got right now, seeing all kind of UFOs and seeing all kind of people being beamed up. But see, they call it a mass abduction. Are they going to take you and make? See. See, they're gonna they're gonna take you and, and, and do experiments on you. But hold on a minute, the people that are left, they're gonna be destroyed. Ain't gonna be no experiments right. coming down. You get abducted, right, and, right. you know. They're gonna you'll be in a test tube or something. That ain't gonna happen. What's gonna happen is this, okay? People that were wicked, okay, then choose to fear the moral side. They're gonna be destroyed, okay? Mm -hmm. They're gonna be destroyed by way of this uh, 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 earthly cleansing. That the Lord's going to uh, establish within the earth by way of the UFOs and way of the by way of the men of the Lord, because it's just those talk about us being changed in, in the twinkling of an eye by the way of the ICBM nuclear missiles of, of, of Russia, China, Iran, etc., etc. Okay, yep. but to be saved out of that, you, there's going to have to be a, a, a divine intervention, and that divine yep. intervention is going to materialize itself as what this world calls the, the UFOs. That's how I got a quick precept on that. Okay, can't, can't, can't. Can. Uh, this is um, Isaiah 26 and uh, verse 20. And it says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chamber. That's right. That's right. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it were for a little moment until the indignation has overpassed, man. Read, read that last so, bit again, Mark. That little last bit. Can. It says, as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Until that indignation be overpassed. Okay, right. so hide that stuff in that chamber so we, hey, love you, you know, brothers will be, hey, your heart box to me outside Rockstar so we be those men, okay, because right. <laughs> it's going to get greasy out here, you know, <laughs> God, God. it's going to get nasty out here, you know what I mean, God. Yeah, okay, right. oh, your heart box to me outside Rockstar so we be those men and get beamed up and get hide our safety and then that indignation, which is that righteous judgment that the most side is going to implement on this place, be implemented, that's right, you know what I'm saying, God. Right, so uh second is the thirteenth chapter. Um now read a little bit more, maybe one or two more verses. Because pretty much the point's been made, you know. Um but this is a good you know, you brothers have some, some time of you haven't read this, it's a good scripture to read because this is pretty much all of them so called alien movies that you see out there. This is pretty much, you know, the blueprint of where they take their information from. Okay, and it says, And I beheld, and lo, that a man that man <laughs> Meaning that that was a very specific individual because it says that man, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Wax with the, wax strong with the thousands of heavens. If you've just seen the image, and he says, and when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled um, that were under uh, that well, that was seen under him. So when he talks about you know him turning you know uh, um, his countenance, so when it, wherever that chariot moved, that that father ship moved, zoop, everyone underneath it was trembling, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that fathership is going to be massive. It's going to cover the whole span of the, the whole earth, you know. Yep. And, 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 and as it as it's, you know, as, as it, it circulates over the earth or whatever, whatever, as it's moving and that, the people that are going to look up, they're going to, they, they, the scripture says, uh, uh, all things trembled that were seen under him. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> that were under him. So you're going to mm -hmm. put these things into, you know, these specific words that uses under. Okay, so they're looking up. What are they looking up at? Just one dude, you know, sitting on the cloud or something. No, man, that big fathership, and they're looking at, and they're looking at their their destruction, man. Yeah, right? Yeah. And it says, whensoever went his voice out of his mouth, they burnt. Uh, that heard his voice, and the earth uh, failed as uh, when it feeleth, as, as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. So, so <laughs> what happens when the earth faileth as it uh, feeleth the fire? It burns. Yep, yep. <laughs> you know, you're going to ask the sun, let it burn. Well, hey, God damn it, let it burn. Because <laughs> that's what's going to be, that's gonna be going down out of here, man. Yep. Okay? It's going to be straight fire coming up out of here. All right? It says, whensoever the, the voice out of his his mouth, or they burn that heard his voice. Okay? Uh, and the earth fail, fail as the, like the earth faileth when it faileth the fire. Okay? And so pretty much, you know, that's where I'll end off that particular scripture. Um, okay. And I'll hand it back to you, bro. 
Yeah, man. I'm, I mean, it's, it's good to bear in mind as well. There's going to be thousands of these chariots in that great and terrible day, man. As it tells you in um, Psalm 68, you know, it says the chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place, man. So there's going to be thousands, like hundreds and thousands of these chariots just circling the place, beaming people up, destroying people, zapping people, turning people into dust, turning people into liquid. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're, <laughs> vaporizing, dude. Destruction. Can't right. vaporizing, man. So, hey, now is the time to repent, man, because this time is coming very, very soon, Lord willing. You know, we got faith that this time is just around the corner, man. You know, we've got the elections next week. We don't know what could happen. We don't know what could go down, man. So now is the time to repent for your sins, man, and, you know, try and get right with the Lord, you know, just before the 11th hour, man. So, you know, yeah, man, that's that's what i got to say, bro. Can yeah. So, you know, you know, yeah, you heard it from the bubble, man. Repent. <laughs> all right, turn back, turn from your iniquity, all right? Yeah. Uh, fear the most side, okay, serve the most side, do the work. I know it's cold out here now. You know, dudes are going to be dropping off like flies and shit. Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, put, put your back into it, you know. Hey, you got to put your back into it. You know what I mean? Okay, <laughs> just do this work. And that goes for me too because, God. hey, it's, you know, you got to judge oneself first before you judge others. But doesn't That's mean right. to say what you're saying is incorrect. So yeah. um, with that, I'm going to say double on the Apostle GMS. Go all right, the honesty of to be pushing this truth in sincerity. And uh, all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, I will see you on the next one. Shalom. Okay. Shalom.